What is good everybody? This is your boy DB Kicks. We're back with another video. Today I got a clothing video set up for you guys today. So you don't want to miss this one, man. This one is definitely important. So if you guys are new here to the channel, welcome to the DB Kicks channel. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. If you do so, please hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping some heat. And you can keep up with, I, with what I got going on. Also, give me a follow over at DB underscore kicks on my Instagram. If you would like to see a lot of outfits, outfit grids, and you know, kind of just what I'm doing, like on a weekly basis, you know what I'm saying? And, get it. and also, I always like, when I get new pickups, like shoes or clothes or whatever, it usually hits my Instagram first. And then after Instagram, um, you'll look for the review within the next few days. Eric Emanuel shorts. All right, these things have been hot for quite some time. Um, so the question is that I'm going to answer today, in my opinion, are these shorts worth it? Do I like them? Will I get another pair? All that stuff. And obviously we're going to put them on body. So this is my first pair that I have, I have ever purchased. Um, I did hit on the website and I tried maybe twice. This is my second time actually trying. First time I couldn't cop. This time I, I caught pretty easy. And it seems like he's got a nice little, uh, bot protection set up on the site he had like um you know you gotta draw the boxes and all that stuff to cop but anyway so we're gonna go over the packaging so love 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 the presentation on these shorts it does say eric emmanuel and you get one pair obviously it's got the size in there size medium and it has this quote uh best shorts in the world a sports product very nice bag and as expensive as these shorts are Best believe I am keeping the bag for these joints and they're just gonna sit in the bag when I'm not wearing them. First things first, the colorway that I did get, this is like a jade, or no, he was calling this um, sage, like a sage green, very dope. From where I'm sitting at, it kind of looks aqua, but it's not, but the double E logo is like a dark, dark purple. Very fire color in my opinion. All right, so the tag of these shorts all right so on the tag of the shorts it does say property of eric emmanuel with the size label on it medium biggest thing with these shorts they are made in the u.s they are made in new york which is a great great thing also that's kind of like what's going to drive the price as well you do get like a regular pair of white drawstrings on the front and two pockets the pockets are pretty long so they are they do come with a long set of pockets so as far as the material goes these are made of 100 percent polyester very similar to like your mitchell and ness um i got a pair of mitchell and nesses right here just to kind of show you guys all right same exact material almost so on the tag i did i like details so he's actually got uh his product information on here so it says each Product is made with care by the Eric Emanuel team. He's got his email on there with any questions. Uh, made in New York, cold water wash, and it says hang dry or dry. I don't care. I'll show you guys that tag real quick. I think I just think that's a pretty dope touch. I don't know if it's picking up, but it shows that he really does care about the product that he's putting out, which is a really good thing. But what's really dope about these shorts he's got a tag on here. It's kind of like he's got like an authentication label on here. So if you look closely at it, it does say authenticator original or something like that with like a hologram on it and it's like this weird like material so you guys see that so that's probably what he's doing so you know you get the real deal there we go they're definitely really good quality shorts as you guys can see on body they fit nice man they fit really nice um, the inseam is about five and a half inches. The inseam of the shorts basically is going to tell you like how long they're going to be. So from the bottom of the shorts to like the crotch area, five, about five and a half inches. I also threw on a pair of Nike woven shorts. I have a lot of those. And to me, they, the length is very, very similar. So I'm going to get my dimensions out the way because somebody's going to ask. I am 5'8". Uh, 160 something pounds i usually wear a medium in all my shorts that's what i went with with these and that's what i go for with nike woven shorts now to me compared to like the woven shorts i think the erica manuals i think they run smaller in my opinion now the end seam is the same not to get confused with that but i'm saying like it's the width like the thigh area of the of the shorts and the waistline so when i pulled mine out the bag i instantly said i was like man these are going to be way too small but you guys can see they're 100% mesh, so they stretch extremely well. All right, so they got a very nice stretch to it, polyester, excuse me. So 
Uh, as you guys can see, I mean, I think the medium is literally like a perfect fit. If I cop again, if I want a looser fit, I might try a large, but I don't know. I can't really decide that until I've actually worn these for a day or worn them multiple times to figure out do I want a medium or do I want a large, but for now we're going to go with the large and that's my sizing, that's my dimensions, all right? Color's kind of hard to match, but yeah. Oh, another good thing I do like about these shorts, they are made in New York, so the quality is excellent. Like, it's a nice polyester mesh, like... And from, I looked at like reviews online on YouTube and stuff. You take care of your stuff. They say this logo doesn't fade. It doesn't come off or anything. That leads me to, I should have wrote this down. <laughs> it leads me to my next point. Pricing, are they worth it? So the big thing to me with these shorts are the fact that they are made in the US. So the quality is going to be good. It's going to be better. And also it's going to drive that price up. If they made these overseas and they weren't made, in house is what I'll say. They would run you probably like 40 bucks or whatever. I don't know because Mitchell and Ness shorts are at least $75. These are 98, so $20 difference. Some Mitchell and Ness shorts do cost you a little bit more. Just depends. The man puts out an enormous amount of colorways. Like every Friday, get on the website at 12 p.m. Eastern time. You'll see how many colors that he he puts out. Usually the ones with like the patterns on it are gonna cost you about an extra $10. So these are $108 shit, all right? So with all that being said, I do like these shorts a lot. I really mess with the colors. I like that they're made in the US. It's just a dope like aesthetic to me. Like these are just, they're, they're hot shorts right now and I don't think they're gonna really get old. But in conclusion to that, do I think these shorts are worth $108 shipped. No. Don't. I just, I don't think so. Um, now that's not, that doesn't mean I'm not going to buy more, but this won't be a, this won't be a thing I'm going to buy every single week. And you can kind of make that argument for a lot of things, you know, is Fear of God Essential shorts overpriced? Is Jordan's overpriced? Everything technically is overpriced. It's all about what you're willing to pay. This is not something that I want to pay every single week. Never. I will never ever pay resale for a pair of these, but the shorts are very fire and I know, I finally understand why people really like them and I'm glad I got a pair in my collection and I'm looking forward to getting more, but $100 for mesh shorts, essentially that's just a lot of money, y'all. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys, but like I said, they're made in the US, so that's going to drive that price up alone. The materials are good, you know, you're paying for the branding and the colors, his colorways are like, nobody's doing colorways on mesh shorts better than Eric Emanuel, not at all. I think they just go a lot better with like outfits, like really styling stuff, because if you think about it, a lot of Mitchell and S shorts are kind of catered to like specific teams or whatever. So you kind of got to go in a specific direction with those. Um, the Nike woven shorts are amazing too. Those are still probably my favorites. They're 40 bucks. So that's a really good pair to go with as well. You know, if you don't want to spend $98 on Eric Emanuel's, but also if you're really into, into clothes like I am, I won't wear Nike woven shorts with a pair of Yeezys or a pair of uh, Reeboks. I'm just not going to do it. Eric Emanuel's, I can go any brand I want. I can go with like slides with these, you know what I'm saying? So you, get really, you can get your money's worth out of the Eric Emanuel's shorts, all right? So I do recommend copping just one, try to cop one. See how you really like it. And honestly, if you're not feeling it, you're like, no, this is just a waste of money. You can sell it. These things sell and you get your money back. So now that that whole ramble is over, they're not worth 98 bucks. They're, they're, I would say they should have been about 65. That's just my opinion. $98 is very steep. I think I have covered anything. If I have not, we can definitely talk about it in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever thought about copping a pair of air commanuals? Do you have a pair in your wardrobe? How many pairs do you have? Let's chop it up in the comment section down below. I want to get some of you guys' feedback and how y'all feel about these shorts. Thank you guys for watching, man. Greatly appreciate it. We're working around it every single day. Your boy, DB Kicks. I appreciate all the support and love for the channel. And your boy is out.